Hey everyone, welcome to Booster Tutor. I'm Brandon, and we did it! Aether Revolt pre release is here, finally! But we still got some more to go, so let's get to our top 10 uncommon commons and artifacts. So, artifacts, this is an artifact set, technically, I guess, but I'm not impressed with these uncommons or commons. Uh, there's a few of them that are really good, but a lot of them just have so much left to be desired. So, let's start with number 10 Universal Solvent. This is one mana for an artifact. It has pay seven, tap it, sacrifice it, destroy target permanent. Okay, so like I said, these videos are for sealed. And when it gets late game, sometimes you're all out of your removal and you really need to destroy something. And this is where this comes in. It's only one mana to cast it, so it can be good for improvise or if you have cards that care about artifacts. Comes down early, doesn't cost that much. The sevens where it comes in later and paying seven to destroy something when you really need it, you're going to do that. I don't think you will run multiple of these, but like maybe one, if you don't have that much removal, if you have tons of removal, maybe you just side this one out. Depends on your deck, but sometimes it's what you need, sadly. Number 10, Universal Solvent. Number nine, Mobile Garrison. Three mana for an artifact vehicle. It's a three, four. Whenever it attacks, untap another target artifact or creature you control. It has crew two. So this one's a little bit of one that I just kind of like. I don't know if it's actually good. Uh, three mana for a three, four vehicle and the crew is two. So you're not really trading up that much. But that ability of untapping a artifact or creature whenever it attacks, I kind of like that. I feel like there's some shenanigans you could probably do. Don't really know yet. But we'll see. I'll try it out. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's horrible. Probably horrible. But hey. I like it. So number nine, Mobile Garrison. Number eight, Watchful Automaton. Three mana for artifact creature construct. It's a two, two, and you may pay two and a blue to scry one. So three mana for a two, two, it's not ideal. Don't really like that, but if you need a three drop, it's fine. Two, two does stuff. It's that scry I really like. Two and a blue, so it is blue. So you have to have blue in your deck, which makes it a little bit more narrow. But to scry one for just three mana in sealed is great because late game, do it twice in a turn, just gets through those cards you don't need and you really need whenever the uh, board state is just stalled. Maybe it gets you removal, maybe it gets you a creature that beats theirs. Really helpful. That's why I like it. Number eight, Watchful Automaton. Number seven, Renegade Map. One mana for an artifact. It enters the battlefield tapped, and you may tap it, sacrifice it, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put in your hand, then shuffle your library. All right, so one mana, not too bad. Um, it helps with mana fixing. If you're three colors, you definitely want one of these. If you're two colors, maybe you look for if you care about artifacts, you have improvise, or if you have revolt because this thing sacrifice it, that's going to be a revolt trigger. It doesn't cost any mana to do it. You just tap it and sack it. So... If you're two colors, look out for those things. I don't think you need to run it if you're only two colors because, I mean, you're probably going to get your colors. Just saying. But I do like it. Number seven, Renegade Map. Number six, Cogwork Assembler. Three mana for a 2-3 artifact creature assembly worker. Pay seven mana, create a token that's a copy of target artifact. That token gains haste, exile it at the beginning of the next end step. Three mana for a 2-3, that's fine. You'll play that. It goes in any deck because it's colorless. Paying seven to create a copy of any artifact that includes your opponents. It gives it haste so you can attack with it. If it has any of the battlefield effects, one trigger revolt. I mean, it's pretty good. Seven mana is a lot, but like I said, sealed. This is what's for. Draft, maybe this doesn't go as high, but definitely in sealed. You can do a lot of shenanigans late game. Just really like this card, actually. Uh, probably run it in any deck that has a lot of artifacts, or if you see your opponents playing like a lot of good ones, like a Gear Hulk or something. You throw this in. All right. Number six, Cogwork Assembler. Number five, Barricade Breaker. Seven mana for an artifact creature, Juggernaut. It's a seven five. It attacks each turn of Able and has Improvise. All right. So this guy's pretty good. That Improvise makes him amazing sometimes. Like if you get him down for five mana at a seven five, that's crazy. Anything below that, forget it. Game over. Uh, I don't like that he doesn't have trample or anything because he can get chump blocked. Why is he called a barricade breaker then? Just saying. But you're going to run him in mainly decks where you can have the improvise go off easily. Like you're not going to, you might play him at seven mana for a seven five. That's fine. But I wouldn't count on it just because 
if you get him like drawing your opening hand or something, that's going to be really bad. You definitely want to try and get him if you can um, mana ramp or if you can get improvise off. So number five, Barricade Breaker. Number four, Daredevil Dragster. Three mana for a 4-4 four, four artifact vehicle. At the end of combat, if Daredevil Dragster attacked or blocked this combat, put a velocity counter on it. Then, if it has two or more velocity counters on it, sacrifice it and draw two cards. Crew two. All right, that's better. Three mana for four, four. The crew is two. And it gets like two attacks or blocks in. But then you draw two cards. That's great. I really like that part. Like if it didn't have that part, of course, this card wouldn't be good. But the fact that you get in some beats, maybe kill a creature, maybe do some damage. And then eventually you're just going to draw two cards. Really like it. Um, yeah, nothing more to say about that. It's a good vehicle. Not amazing, but pretty solid. I like it. Number four, Daredevil Dragster. Number three, Pacification Array. One mana for an artifact. Pay two, tap. Tap target artifact or creature. All right, so it's almost Icy Manipulator, uh, but the, you have to pay two each activation, which I think is fine and sealed. I mean, you're just going to keep tapping down their best creature, their best artifact, if they're doing some kind of shenanigans or something. I really like this card. It's only one mana. Helps with Improvise. Helps with if Artifact Matters cards. Just, it's really good. I like it. I love these type of cards. Anytime there's a creature that can do this, I always take it. Two manas, not that bad, I think. Usually it's one mana. Two is fine. That's why it's number three, Pacification Array. Number two, Treasure Keeper. Four mana for an artifact creature construct. He's a 3-3. Three, three. And when he dies, reveal cards on the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card with converted mana cost three or less. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Put all revealed cards not cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. Four mana for a 3-3. Three, three. You'll play that in any color because it's colorless. You'll take that. And the fact that when he dies, you pretty much get a three drop back. Oh, so good. You don't hit lands. Sometimes you need land maybe, but rather not hit those. Sometimes you hit instant and sorcery, but this is sealed. So you're going to be running mainly creatures. Just, it's so good. Run this if you get them. He just goes in any deck. That's why he's number two, treasure keeper. And number one artifact card is Untethered Express. Four mana for a artifact vehicle. It's a four, four. Has trample, and whenever it attacks, put a 1-1 counter on it. Crew, 1. What? 1? So, 4 mana for 4-4, four, four, and I have to tap a servo to crew it. That's crazy. And it just gets bigger and bigger and busts through everything because it has trample. This card's so good. Should probably be a rare, almost. I mean, maybe in comparison to uh, Looter Scooter, not that great, but it's really good and limited. If you're going to get one of these, definitely run it. So good. Um, so that's Artifacts. At the bottom, not so great. Once you get to the top, crazy good. So I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, not quite done. We still have to do multicolor. So, okay. So it's the most colorful shirt I had, okay? Multicolor, there's only 10 of them. And usually if you're in those two colors, you're going to run no matter what. They're all pretty efficient creatures. Only one I would say be wary about is Hidden Stockpile. It's the white black one and it's an enchantment. And it really needs revolt triggers to really be good. So, but everything else you'll pretty much run. But I want to go over the top five since there's only 10. I want to talk about all of them. So, this is mainly when I do a top five for multicolor, it's if I would want to splash for it basically. And they're all pretty good, but these are the ones you're like, you know what? I can throw uh, this color in there that's on my deck just to run this card. So, start with number five Outland Boar. Two red green for a creature boar. It's a four four, and it can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Four mana for four four, and it has an upside. I'll take that. That's fine. Doesn't have trample or anything, but servos can't block it. Two twos can't block it. It's pretty good. If I was going like a red white deck, I'd splash a green in there for that. That's why number five Outland Boar. Number four Renegade Will Smith. One red white for a three two. The creature dwarf pilot. And whenever it becomes tapped, target creature can't block this turn. That's aggressive. 3 mana for a 3-2. Hey, whatever. But the fact that you can just crew this to a vehicle and then you get that tap or you get to make their creature not block. Oh, that's so good. Really like this card. Can go in any deck that can splash for white or red, I would say, just because there's always gonna be combat and you always want things to not block. So that's why number four is 
Renegade Will Smith. And number three, Rogue Refiner. One green blue for a 3-2, human rogue. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card and you get two energy. Three mana for a 3-2, that's fine. That's how they mostly are. You get to draw a card, that's really good. So late game, drawing a card, that's great. Early game, drawing a card, that's great. Two energy, I'm sure you can find a use for it somewhere, even if you're not an energy deck. Really like this card. That's why it's number three, Rogue Refiner. Number two, Spire Patrol. Two white blue for a 3-2 creature, human soldier. It has flying. When it enters the battlefield, tap a target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Four mana for a 3-2 flyer? Yeah, I'll take that. And the fact that he just taps something down, they don't get to use it, block with it, attack with it next turn. Love that. Have I mentioned that flyers are good in sealed? I don't know if I have yet. They're really good, though. So, that's why I like this guy. You'll splash for him. If he's in, you're in blue-white, you're going blue-white flyers probably, so love that. Number two, Spire Patrol. And my number one multicolor card is Maverick Thopterist. Three blue-red for a 2-2 human artificer. When it enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one -one colorless Thopter artifact creature tokens with flying. And it has Improvise. Wow, so five mana for a 2-2 two -two, and it comes with two 1-1 one -one flyers? I'd play that for five mana. The fact that it's improvised makes it crazy. Like if you get this down for three, oh, you're so far ahead. Like that's so good. Love this card so much. I'd totally splash for this. This would put me in blue or red. Get a Whirler Rogue in there too. Oh, love this card. Uh, that's why it's my number one, Maverick Thopterist. Okay, so we did it. We got through all the comms and commons. I feel like those are the ones that are most important for sealed. Uh, don't know if I'll do a rare one. Maybe I'll do like a fast one. Let me know if you got hear anything about rares. So I'm about to get to my pre-release, uh, my midnight one. It's in a couple of hours. Good luck to everyone out there. Hope these helped. Please let me know. Uh, I actually had fun doing this. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, booster underscore tutor. And see you next draft with a new set.